everybody, it's Shilleroo. Um, This is going to be my contribution, so that word wrong, to Geek Week. And I was watching some Geek Week videos and one of my, um, one of the people I subscribed to did a blood elf look from World of Warcraft and thought, well, that's really cool. So I decided to do something from one of my favorite games, which of course is Skyrim. So I decided to do a Skyrim inspired war paint for Geek Week. Um, this is going to be pretty simple, it just might take a little bit of time, but basically the look I'm going for is kind of the scratchy eye paint that Vilkas and Farkas wear. If you're not certain what that looks like, you can always look it up. Basically it's just two big black eyes with a lot of streaks and stuff looks really messy. I figure it's pretty simple, it's not going to take very long, so just do that. But before I get into that, I have a few things to say. Um, thank you to the few subscribers who have joined our little family. Thank you very much for, for coming and subscribing. I hope you stick around. I hope you enjoy what you see. Um, I know at least one of you. I'm looking at you, Krista. Um, I also want to thank uh, one of my friends, Jamie, for uh, helping me get a little more publicity. She's plugging me on a lot of her social sites, which means a lot because it's, it's hard to get noticed, especially on the internet. It's really hard. So I appreciate all the help I can get, and I'm very, very thankful for it. So I'm not wearing anything on my face right now. I'm not wearing any foundation or anything. I'm not going to, because I want to keep this kind of rough and dirty. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some bobby pins. I'm just going to pin back my hair so it doesn't get in my way when I'm trying to do this. So, <coughs> excuse me. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my Gosh Velvet Touch Eye Primer. I can't see. So on a clean finger, just gonna squirt up that much. I don't know if you can see that at all, but I'm just gonna rub that all over my lid, all up into my eyebrow and underneath it. So I'm gonna be using a very minimal amount of brushes for this. The first thing I'm going to use is my pinky, actually. I'm going to be using Maybelline's New York Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner in Blackest Black. Looks like that. I don't know if you'll be able to... If it's not going to focus, well, at least I'll put all the product information in the description so you'll be able to see it. So let me move my stuff around here so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. So basically, I'm just going to open this up. It's just a little pot like that. And I'm gonna take my pinky or even my ring finger, and I'm basically just gonna smear it in there and I'm gonna rub it all over. Basically, you'd be like really big panda eyes. Let's get a good finger for that. Kind of like that. And then I'm just gonna rub it all over my eyes. War paint was done with fingers, it wasn't done with brushes or anything like that. So you want it to look really rough and not uniform. Just kind of smudge the edges. Like that. And do the same thing for the other eye. One eye is a little darker than the other one. Um, that doesn't really matter. We're going to be setting this with eyeshadow anyway, so don't try that. Does that look scary? Okay. okay. So, I'm sure it has to go in the laundry anyway. Yeah, get that off my finger. So, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a small liner brush looks like this. This is just a, a brow definer brush. It's really cheap so I don't mind dipping it in eyeshadow. That's some or eyeliner, sorry. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make all these little dashes and squiggles and stuff to 
kind of make it look really jagged and edgy. So just you know, dipping it in. A good amount on there. You can wipe off some of the excess if you want. But I'm just basically gonna make it look scurry. I'm just gonna do um, just around the outside of my eye. I'm not gonna do it on the inside because that to me seems kind of impractical, so I'm not gonna do that. And again, we're gonna set this with black eyeshadow, so don't worry if it's not completely colored or anything. So that's one eye done. I look like a very bedraggled panda, which will be very fitting later, and you'll we'll see why. So just continue. We'll go to the other eye now, and we'll start making nose slashes. good to me. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to put some of this away here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to line my inner eyes just with a regular black eyeliner pencil. This one's by NYC. Learn the New York color for those of you who don't know the abbreviations. Um, it's really blunt, but I'm only doing it on the inside of my eye anyway. There's really no point in putting it on my top eyelashes. So A good trick if you're not comfortable with tight lining your eyes is to put a lot of black eyeliner on your waterline and then squeeze your eye together. It works. So now that the eyeliner is done, I'm going to take my brand new Quill palette. Looks like this. Um, if you saw my Soul Wrecked video, you'll have seen this. And just on a regular flat rounded brush like this, I'm going to be picking up just a matte dark eyeshadow, probably black. And I'm just going to pat that everywhere to set all the I done. I'd consider doing the war paint where it comes down from your cheeks, goes all the way down your neck, but I didn't think I'd be able to pull that off very well. And um, you know, I always read, I Farkas is one of my favorite uh, NPCs in the game, so I figured, yeah, let's do that. Okay, there we go. So, dust off the excess on the back of my hand here. I got black ash all over my fingers. It looks like dirt. It looks gross. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to put on some Great Lash Mascara by Maybelline. Um, this is a pretty good mascara. It's pretty cheap and it does its job, so that's why I like it. I don't really need a mirror to put myself on. Basically just blackening out my lashes. Because I don't really want any part
part of my eye other than my iris to be visible. I mean, my lashes are already pretty dark anyway, but it's just a little extra measure. And the very last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a, a lip treatment. This is just a Sugar Fresh from Sephora. This looks like this. Just gonna rub it on my lip real quick. Because my lips get very chapped very easily. And because I want my eyes to be the main drama here, I'm going to be using a nude lipstick. This is Kat Von D's Celebutard. Actually, I know you're not going to be able to read that, so I'm not going to bother. It just looks like this. It's just a very nude peach coral color. Oh, Mom, you can smell that. Oh, Lord. I want all the drama to be on my eyes, not my lips. <clears throat> so really, the last touches, so I'm just putting my stuff away here, be taking out my bobby pins here, styling my hair, and then finally wearing the skin of a dead animal. In this case, it's a spirit hood. Let's just pretend this is like a wolf skin or something. So uh, yeah, this was my contribution to Geek Week. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, it was pretty simple. You know, I was just inspired by another user who did video game makeup. I thought it was really cool. Um, but anyway, uh, I hope you liked the video. Um, like, comment. Subscribe and share, do whatever the hell you want, I don't care. I'm trying to make that my tagline, but it's still kind of hard to remember. <laughs> I'll admit. But until next time, I thank all of you for watching. Please continue to share my videos and leave comments and suggestions. I really love hearing from you guys. And until next time, voice guide. Ooh. That was a really lame Grim Beards reference. I'm super sorry. Bye. <laughs>